We have to look at every step, you know, as a victory. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at here is a um, is a victory. Um, this is a cam on a gear. It's not a big deal, right? Um, but um, this cam is designed then, it's this cam, there you go, this cam is actually screwed to a metal gear and I, I can't use this thing uh, so I had to use a shoulder bolt, right, for the link couplers, the link coupling on um, engines to tr tenders. I put ro roller bearings on the shaft and I screwed it into an insert on the back side so it's held in and it's on ball bearings. Okay? And, you know, it's rotating on a ball bearing off of the worm. And listen to that. Nice and smooth, isn't it? Okay, now then. This is going to... Where did my other part go? Here it is. This is the other part that bolts on top, and this is my switch holder. It's going to screw down here, and I know my math is a little off, and um, it's a little too close, and the piece is bent, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to have to push it back as much as I can, and I can't do much because the armature's right there, so... I'm going to have to fold those leads out to get them out of the way and then pull it back. And then I'll probably have to do some bending of this thingy here so that it, it gets triggered nice and smooth and doesn't get bent and broken and carrying on. So I got a lot of work yet to do, but um, I took time away from all the other stuff. I just, I'm, something's printing okay, so I'm not wasting that. I'm printing a part for a, a customer. It was good. Um, but I really wanted to get back on this trigger thing because if I don't have the trigger, I'm a, the board soundboards are on their way. I got the money to the guy. He's sending me three soundboards for Chuff. I'm all excited. And so I got to get this trigger because we already proved the puff, right? We saw the puff of smoke. When I hit the button, the puff went. Now I need that puff to go off of the switch. And that same switch will feed the sound, trigger the sound. So we're going to have puff and chuff in I don't know, okay, but soon, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. But I got to get this piece in and working done so that when the board gets here, I just wire it up. Boom, we're done, okay? There's the motor. There's the power for the smoke. And uh, and then the soundboard will have its own power, and it'll use something else, 5 volts, I think, or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to get back on bending this up if I can't. If I don't break it, I got a few of these, but we'll see what we can do. All right, that's the story. I just wanted to fill you in. We have a cam. We had a cam. Uh, Alan, Andy designed this cam way back. Never used it. Uh, wasn't sure about it. Test fitted it. I had to move a hole. Um, got it on. And I think we're ready to, uh, to test now. So I need to get this. I need to get this bracket ready. That's going to do it. That is going to do it. It's got to line it up right. Okay, gang. That's what I wanted you to see. Nice and smooth. And, and oh, the other thing I wanted to point out, we are, we are, we, I did it with a Dremel and it looked like hell, but it worked. Um, Jim is going to grind this out or has done it already so that I can hang a gear over here and get onto the worm and then put my same exact switch here so we can get Puff and Chuff out of a non-smoke unit real soon i mean we can now we just have to figure out how much is it going to cost them do this grinding out if it's not too expensive then we're going to package that with a puff and chuff that means you could take your your exact royal blue i mean how many of us have these chassis and we just hate them because there's nothing you can do to them well there is we get these chassis this will fit on a royal blue streamline anything that is you know okay fives you can get them, machine them. Oh, and um, Atlantics too. The old Atlantics 300s. Oh, yeah, with a two, four piece nose and all that. Absolutely. Grind it out, put the puff and chuff gear on. Bada boom, bada bang. Okay, gotta run later.